dear students today we are discussing an important area from the ratio analysis that is preparation of balance sheet from ratios this will be the model of a question sales gross profit ratio current ratio asset to test ratio stock turnover ratio debtors collection period likewise different ratios and some data will be given in the question and lastly we will be asked with preparation of balance sheets how we can prepare the balance sheets always the first and the foremost thing we have to thing is how to find the value of stock stock will be the starting point so we are starting with sales sales is given 20 lakhs gross profit is given 25 percentage so 25 percentage 5 lakhs so from these two values we can get cost of goods sold cost of goods sold is equal to sales minus gross profit 20 minus 5 lakhs is equal to 15 lakhs okay then from this cost of goods sold we can reach at stock by using the ratio stock turnover ratio stock turnover ratio is equal to we know cost of goods sold divided by average stock okay then here cost of goods sold we have calculated as 15 lakhs okay we have cost of goods sold 15 lakhs and also stock turnover ratio is given in the question okay it is given in the question 15 okay both figures are there so with these two figures we can get the value of average stock okay average stock is equal to cost of goods sold divided by stock turnover ratio that is 15 lakhs divided by 15 is equal to 1 lakh so we have got the value of average stock in the question there is a hint that stock here means closing stock so this 1 lakh can be taken as closing stock it can be taken as average stock or it can be taken as stock okay so we have reached at value of stock that is 1 lakh this is always the starting point first we calculate stock turnover ratio or from using stock turnover ratio we can calculate value of stock okay then the second stage if we have got the value of stock then the second stage will be to reach at current assets current liabilities and liquid assets okay then the current ratio is given as 1.5 is to 1 liquid ratio is given as 1.25 is to 1 so the difference between current assets and liquid assets not current liabilities liquid assets will be taken as stock we know current assets minus stock is equal to liquid assets liquid assets is equal to current assets excluding stock and prepaid expenses so current assets minus stock is equal to liquid assets stock is equal to current assets minus liquid assets so here stock is equal to 1.5 minus 1.25 because 1.5 is to 1 is current ratio 1.25 is to 1 is liquid ratio so 1.5 is current asset 1.25 is liquid asset so the difference 0.25 is the value of stock so stock is 0.25 and the amount of stock is rupees 1 lakh using these two figures 1 lakh and 0.25 we can calculate current assets liquid assets and current liabilities current asset is equal to 1 lakh divided by 0.5 into current asset value is 1.5 so the amount is 6 lakhs okay then second case liquid asset is equal to 1 lakh divided by 0.25 into 1.25 that is 5 lakhs current liability is always 1 1.5 is to 1 1.25 is to 1 so current liability is 1 so current liability is equal to 1 lakh divided by 0.25 into 1 that is 4 lakhs so here we got four values stock 
current assets liquid assets and current liabilities current liability is there and uh, stock value is there okay then next uh, we have to move to the next slide so up to this level we have calculated the value of with the uh, we have calculated the values of cost of goods sold using these values current ratio is used asset test ratio is used stock turnover ratio is used now we are moving to the next item that is debtors turnover ratio okay how we can use debtors turnover ratio okay then take debtors turnover ratio here we have given debtors collection period is 1.5 months debtors collection period is given debtors turnover ratio is not given okay it is debtors velocity okay we can use the same equation so debtors collection period is 1.5 months this is debtors velocity okay debtors turnover ratio is calculated using the equation net credit annual sales divided by average trade debtors sales is given in the question it is 20 lakhs so using sales using debtors turnover ratio we will reach at the amount of debtors okay debtors is equal to net credit annual sales divided by debtors turnover ratio so it is net credit sales is 20 lakhs divided by debtors turnover ratio but debtors turnover ratio is not given debtors velocity is given if the debtors turnover ratio or velocity is given in months instead of division we multiply it sadharana debtors turnover ratio kondu divide cheyana cheya sales ne pagaram adu monthly aanu therunna engil nammal already cheyidittundu into cheyuga adayathu 20 lakhs into 1.5 divided by 12 adayathu 1 1/2 maasam aanu adu kondana 1.5 divided by 12 nu parayunnu 10 divas aanengil into 10 by 360 so 20 lakhs into 1.5 divided by 12 is equal to 2 lakh 50000 we got the value of another current asset okay Here, up to this stage we have calculated value of current assets and stock value is 1 lakh debtors value is 2 lakh 50000 stock is 1 lakh debtors is 2 lakh 50000 total current asset is 6 lakhs so we can take the balance 6 lakh minus 3.5 lakhs 2 lakh 2.5 lakh as other current assets so we got all the current asset value 6 lakhs that is stock 1 lakh debt is 2.5 lakh other current assets 2.5 lakh and there is one current liability that is we have already calculated 4 lakhs okay then nextly we have given with another item turnover to fixed assets okay the next item in our question is turnover to fixed assets that is 1.5 1.5 means 1.5 is to 1 that is turnover is 1.5 and fixed asset is 1 turnover means sales but in this question it is specifically given that turnover refers to cost of sales so here for turnover we sales we take cost of sales or cost of goods sold okay then now fixed asset is calculated using this equation cost of sales is 15 lakhs in our question okay and uh, turnover ratio to fixed asset is 1.5 so 15 lakhs divided by 1.5 is equal to 10 lakhs so we got another value fixed asset 10 lakhs okay fixed asset 10 lakhs then another ratio given in the question is ratio of fixed assets to net worth that is 5 by 6 fixed assets to net worth is 5 by 6 5 by 6 means 5 is to 1 okay fixed asset is 5 and net worth is 6 net worth means net shareholders fund okay so fixed assets to net worth ratio is 5 is to 6 so fixed assets 
is already we have calculated 10 lakhs okay it is 5 so net worth is calculated using the equation net worth is equal to 10 lakhs divided by 5 10 lakh is 5 fixed asset okay into 6 6 is net worth okay 10 lakhs divided by 5 into 6 is equal to 12 lakhs 12 lakhs is net worth or equity or shareholders fund okay net worth includes two items shareholders fund that is share capital plus reserves and surplus okay or share capital plus reserve okay the next item is ratio of reserves to share capital that is 1 by 3 1 by 3 means 1 is to 3 reserve is 1 and share capital is 3 both reserve plus share capital is net worth net worth is here we have calculated as 12 lakhs and share capital plus reserve here 1 plus 3 we can find it as 4 so net worth is 4 net worth is 12 lakhs so we can find share capital as 12 lakhs divided by 4 into 3 that is 9 lakhs the reserve can be calculated as 12 lakhs divided by 4 into 1 that is 3 lakhs okay now we have got the values of share capital and reserve that is the part of equity now when we write all these items in a balance sheet stock 1 lakh debt is 2.5 lakhs other current assets 2.5 lakhs fixed assets 10 lakhs we will get the total 16 lakhs on the liability side share capital 9 lakhs reserve 3 lakhs current liability is 4 lakhs total 16 lakhs this is how we will prepare a balance sheet using ratios students when we get this type of problems we have to get always started with our key factor that is stock first take the value of stock if stock value is not given then we can find the value of stock using stock turnover ratio stock turnover ratio is equal to cost of goods sold divided by average stock so if stock turnover ratio is given we can calculate if cost of goods sold is not given there will be sales and gross profit based on this we find cost of goods sold based on this value we will calculate stock turnover ratio then based on stock turnover ratio we will calculate stock based on stock we find current assets liquid assets current liabilities etc then next we will move to debtors if any based on the test turnover ratio so this is the part related to current assets this is always the starting point based on the current asset values we will go to fixed assets based on fixed assets we will go to the items on the liability side okay then the only thing you have to keep in mind in that you have to go through all the items that are given in the question okay